The Wedding at Redwood Park A modern-day parable based on John chapter 2 in the Bible. It was a beautiful spring day at Redwood Park, the perfect setting for a wedding. The park was lush with greenery, and the sound of a gentle stream provided a soothing backdrop. Emma and Mark, a young couple deeply in love, had chosen this serene location to exchange their vows. Family and friends gathered, excited to celebrate the union of two wonderful people. Among the guests was a man named Jesus, a close friend of the couple. Known for his wisdom and kindness, Jesus was someone everyone admired. He had come with his mother, Mary, and a few close friends. The ceremony was beautiful, and the reception that followed was lively. Guests danced, laughed, and enjoyed the delicious food and drink. However, as the celebration continued, Mary noticed a problem. She discreetly approached Jesus, her face showing concern. Jesus, she whispered, they've run out of wine. The party has just started and they have nothing left to serve. Jesus looked at his mother, understanding the importance of the situation. Running out of wine at a wedding was not just a minor inconvenience. It was a significant social faux pas that could embarrass the newlyweds and their families. Mother, why do you involve me? Jesus replied gently. My time has not yet come. Mary, confident in her son's abilities, turned to the catering staff and said, do whatever he tells you. Jesus smiled, knowing his mother's faith in him. He walked over to the catering area where several large stone water jars were sitting. Each jar could hold about 30 gallons of water. Jesus instructed the staff to fill the jars with water and they complied, albeit with some confusion. Once the jars were filled to the brim, Jesus said, now draw some out and take it to the master of the banquet. The staff followed his instructions. When the master of the banquet tasted the water that had been turned into wine, he was astonished. He called the bridegroom over and exclaimed, everyone brings out the choice wine first and then the cheaper wine after the guests have had too much to drink, but you have saved the best till now. The guests, unaware of the crisis that had been averted, continued to enjoy the celebration, praising the quality of the wine. Emma and Mark were grateful beyond words. They had no idea how the problem had been solved so quickly and so perfectly, but they knew it was thanks to their friend Jesus. As the evening progressed, the joy and laughter continued. Jesus watched the happy couple with a sense of fulfillment. His friends, who had witnessed the miracle, were awed by what they had seen. They knew that this was only the beginning of many more extraordinary things to come. Mary, seeing her son's gentle smile, approached him once more. Thank you, Jesus she said softly. He nodded, his eyes reflecting a deep understanding. Sometimes, it's the simple acts of kindness that make the biggest difference. And so, the wedding at Redwood Park became a cherished memory for everyone who attended, especially for those who knew the true story behind the miraculous wine. It was a testament to the power of faith, the importance of family, and the extraordinary nature of their friend Jesus, who brought light and joy wherever he went.